Hi friends, welcome to our next video. In this video, we will understand how to arrange letters by the process of permutation. I am taking a word pen. The question is, how many different possible ways by which we can arrange PEN? Okay. So here we can arrange pen in this way. We can arrange it in this way also. We can arrange in this way. We can arrange in this way. And finally we can arrange in this way. Okay. So the letters of the word pen can be arranged in these six possible ways but what is the short trick by which we can arrange the number of letters in the word pen here you count how many letters are there there are three letters one two and three okay so number of ways is three factorial so three factorial means three into two into one equal to six so here we get the number of ways equal to six here we will discuss two categories number one is repetitive and number two is non-repetitive let us first discuss case one when the word contains non-repetitive letters that means none of the letter is repeated twice or thrice okay first word is match here you count how many letters are there there are five letters one two three four five how many ways we can write this word match 5 factorial which is equal to 5 4 3 2 1 this is equal to 5 4 is a 20 23 is a 60 62 is a 120 okay second word is brother how many ways we can write brother 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so here it is 7 factorial 7 factorial means 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 which is equal to 5 0 4 0 understood let us discuss case 2 where the letters are repetitive that means here you look here in the word leader e is repeated in the word india the letter i is repeated okay so how many ways we can arrange the letters of the word leader first you count there are six letters so it is six factorial okay now you see e is repeated twice one and two so divided by factorial two in case of india three four five five factorial because the number of letter is 5 and i is repeated twice so divided by factorial 2 okay which is equal to 6 5 4 3 2 1 divided by 2 1 2 1 2 1 cancelled 5 4 is a 20 23 is a 60 60 into 6 360 and here it is 5 4 3 2 1 divided by 2 into 1 so this is equal to 5 4 is a 20 23 is a 60 so this is our answer understood let us understand clearly with some more examples question number one in how many different ways can the letters of the word leading be arranged in such a way that a the vowels always come together b the vowels do not come together the word is leading you say how many vowels are there there are three vowels e a and i so let us separate these vowels e a i and let us put them inside a bracket we will count these three vowel as a single letter okay so the remaining letters are l d N and G. Okay. 
so if we count these three letters as a single letter then how many letters are there there are five letters one one two three four and five so how many ways we can arrange these letters five factorial understood now these three letters can be arranged in three factorial ways okay so what is the total number of ways by which we can arrange these letters when these three vowels always come together is equal to 5 factorial into 3 factorial understood which is equal to 5 factorial means 5 4 3 2 1 so 5 4 is a 20 23 is a 60 62 is a 120 into 3 factorial means 6 so this is equal to 720 understood so answer of question number a is 720 okay for question number b we have to first find out how many ways we can arrange these letters 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so this is 7 factorial 7 factorial is the total number of ways by which we can arrange these letters which is equal to 5040 and in answer a we got 720 720 is the number of ways where the vowels comes together so in how many ways we can arrange these letters where the vowels do not come together so this is equal to 5040 minus 720 which is equal to 4320 this is the answer question number two in how many ways can the letters of the word constant be arranged keeping the two vowels always together the given word is constant and the question is to find out number of ways when the two vowels always come together you say how many vowels are there there are two vowels o and a so let us take these two vowels together and put them inside a bracket now excluding these two vowels how many letters are there c n s t again n then t so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 letters how many ways we can arrange these 7 letters so it is 7 factorial now look at the word here we have a repetition of t that means 2 times so divided by 2 factorial and also we have repetition of n 2 times so divided by 2 factorial okay so this is equal to 7 factorial means 5040 and 2 factorial means 2 into 2 so this is equal to 1, 2, 6, 0. Is this the answer? No, it is not the answer. Do not forget the arrangement of O and A. So, O and A can be arranged by 2 factorial ways. So, 1, 2, 6, 0 into 2 factorial. So, this is equal to 1, 2, 6, 0 into 2. That means 2, 5, 2, 0. This is the required answer. So friends, I think you have understood the basic idea of permutation. For more such videos, please like, share and subscribe to the channel.